Right now, I'd like to invite Jeff Carr, the Executive Director of the Museum of Idaho, to the stage. This history was very interesting, and you and others have contributed so much in creating this great museum and have been instrumental in preserving so much history and tremendous exhibits in a small Idaho city to bring people from many states to see your exhibits. The Museum of Idaho is certainly an Idaho gem, and we want to recognize your 20th anniversary as of this month. Congratulations from BCHA and everyone who has visited, learned, and enjoyed the museum. Thank you, Rosemary. Uh, this, uh, I'm, I'm grateful to be here on behalf of a large museum of Idaho community of staff members, volunteers, and supporters of all stripes. It, it takes a village to, uh, to have a museum like this. Uh, this honor from the Bonneville County Heritage Association is particularly meaningful for us uh, at the museum for, for two reasons. Uh, the first one is simply that it was given by the Bonneville County Heritage Association. Uh, you heard a little bit of history of the Museum of Idaho here. Uh, it is our 20th anniversary right now as the Museum of Idaho, but our real foundation was set by uh, the Bonneville County Historical Society, many members of which are, are active in the Heritage Association now, uh, and, and who you saw in the film and, and elsewhere. And they did just an incredible job building a museum out of nothing. Uh, in 2000, as you heard, the Historical Society accepted a proposal for a massive expansion of the building and of the mission and of everything that the, uh, that the museum does. And at that time, the, uh, some of the original grassroots volunteer work uh, done by members of the Historical Society uh, would sometimes get overshadowed by these massive, by a T-Rex named Sue, right? By the other massive new things that were brought in, and uh, and so this Heritage Association was founded in part uh, to fill that that much needed gap. I'm happy to say that now our two organizations, the Museum of Idaho and the Heritage Association, are working more closely together than we have in a long time. And uh, we have uh, members of the Heritage Association volunteering at the museum constantly, helping us go through our archives, uh, helping us with uh, our local history. Um, in addition, they consult on our exhibits, including the wonderful Way Out West exhibit that you heard about. Uh, they use our space at the museum, and we would love for them to use it uh, whenever they want. Uh, whatever, whatever we can do for the Heritage Association, please let us know. Um, we would love many. Uh, we would love more of that. So this this recognition from the true pillars and founders of. Uh, of the museum is, is really particularly meaningful for us. Uh, secondly, I just want to say uh, this is meaningful for us because while we do draw visitors from all over the world at the Museum of Idaho, celebrating Idaho, and especially Eastern Idaho, and especially right here, that is really what is at our core, and that is what we are all about at the museum. Yes, we have wonderful traveling exhibits like Dinos of the Deep that we hope you all come in and enjoy. Um, but two years ago, when we were able to open this award-winning Way Out West exhibit, uh, was the culmination of many, many years of, of planning, of research and writing, of, of collecting artifacts and stories, and talking to many of you. And the end result is something that I hope everybody can really be proud of. We at the museum are, are a number of us like me, are, are multi-generational locals. There are a number of us that are imports. Uh, there are people of all different walks of life at the museum, diverse backgrounds and opinions. Half of us at the museum staff are actually under 40, and, and every single one of us absolutely loves this place, absolutely loves where we are right here in Idaho. Um, and that we firmly believe that you don't have to look or think a certain way to be proud of, of Idaho. So I'm, I'm really preaching to the choir here. We have a, a wonderful, diverse cultural and ecological history right here in our area, and I hope that's something that everybody uh, can be proud of. We love sharing that history 
uh, through exhibits, through programs, through archives, through our online collections that you can get on and see for yourselves. And, and we love sharing those, especially with the next generation. So please, if you haven't, come spend some time in the Way Out West exhibit. Uh, learn as much as you can about this incredible place that we live. Uh, attend some of our lectures on Idaho history. Talk to us, share your stories with us. Uh, we all have a lot to be proud of right here in our area. So thank you again.